Women are very powerful. They have powers that we don't recognize. The civilization is coming up now. We are starting to realize the importance and the essence of women in the society. If women are not involved in the church today, most of the churches would have collapsed. Anything they are involved, they are very powerful, they make it united, they make it progressive. We have a record of women who are also part of the community leadership cabinets in their community. My wife is not the cabinet. The cabinet is who is. It is the cabinet is who is. I win a can you work it. Kaye Jimwe woke and wear wine. I don't tie him man out, a chichobo, Ninecotobo, I am Zuris. I want to hear old Fakan in me. I to need Luna Cannabos, Chicodon or Kubuji. Webby is a women-led organization focused on women and girls. So if we, what we do is women inclusion in governance, peace and security, women's rights and economic empowerment. We make sure that uh, women are not excluded or marginalized. So we bring women from diverse area in leadership and every economic increase women economic empowerment to make sure that women participate in everything that we are doing. We have our head office in Enugu State and they, we have our branch office in the southeastern part of the country. We are believing God and very soon we have office in Abuja and other African countries because it's a global focus organization. WVL project is Women's Voice and Leadership Project that is fully sponsored by Global Affairs Canada and is supported by Action in Nigeria. They are working on three objectives, which is increasing women participation in politics, gender-based violence, and the economic empowerment. But Webby is working to increase women participation in politics in Enugu State. So the, what we are doing in this WVO project is to increase women participation in politics and in leadership. So that is what WVO is all about. We'll be focused on the political aspect of it, which is the increasing women participation, women and girls participation in politics in Nigeria, not just in the Southeast, in Nigeria. We are working in four local governments, Ibeze North, this is a local government, Udi local government, and the um, Aniri local government. We realized that there was a lot of marginalization in women inclusion, in leadership and in politics. Whenever they talk about women inclusion, it's as if, ah, how can a woman do that? They believe that a woman is not even supposed to talk when a man is talking. So we started campaigning for women inclusion in, in cabinet, women inclusion in politics and in leadership. WVL is a wonderful project that focuses on women and leadership training in the communities. I've been part of different women training in communities like Ndiagbo in 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 our local government, um Omokwe in Udi local government and the Kamodo in the Gwezen North local government. In the course of the training uh, we are meant to help young women who aspire for leadership position both in uh, active politics and community leadership. So we are able to train them properly and also liaise with the traditional uh, leadership in their communities. Then we had a dialogue with 16 traditional rulers. We invited them to Enugu to find out why women are not being included in decision making as cabinet members. So we, we uh, dialogued with them, tried to engage them, tried to get a, a, their own closure of the whole thing. They were telling us that it is culture and their tradition does not accept women to be part of the cabinet members. 
one of the traditional leaders included about four women in the Igwe cabinet and the women did a lot of jobs in fact they did a, a lot of things they, they brought a lot of transformation and they later told me that they want more women in their cabinet I told the traditional leader they say wow why why can't him do that since ever since he has been working with the men it has not been like that, that this woman has brought a lot of changes in the cabinet so that before you know what he included another 10 women in their cabinet which is making it 14 and the, the, the and the, a woman they gave a woman a, 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 and a female Igwe that will be taking care of the women and what they are doing then with that we saw an encouragement to do a follow-up engagement with other traditional rulers at this point the most of some of the traditional rulers are still having double minds whether they should or they should not do it then we we had to give uh, uh, his royal highness the audience to express and also tell those, the other uh, traditional rulers what has been done since these women that he included since he included them what has been done differently so he he shared his testimonies he told them everything that the women have done so that is how the journey started and the, today we have so many communities now that we have included women in in their in their cabinet if you go to Ndabo, if you go to Inyi, if you go to Ikpamodo, if you go to Udi, Abo to be precise, a lot of them now and a lot more. Uh, even um, previous days, some of the traditional leaders were calling me on phone. Please, can you tell us how do we, we, we notice that women in the Igwe cabinet are really doing very well. And they have in other communities, please, how do we include our women to be part of the Igwe cabinet so that is how far we have gone on the journey and the one of the traditional uh, traditionally that go went as far as making sure that women are now part of um um town planning uh, union the other traditional leaders they have they have women neighborhood watch now where women are part of security because we keep emphasizing about peace and security involve women when they are talking about anything security involve women stop marginalizing them so we have done a lot on this process it's very very important when you include a woman in politics and in leadership and there is no no place that is written that politics is for men politics is for everybody is for every gender is for boy is for girl is for men is for women so why now the marginalization why are we making it look as if no it's, it's for set of people so there is a very important when you include a woman a woman is the one that raised the family a woman is the one that takes care of the home a woman is the one that does things in the family so how come now you when it comes to politics you now say ah you don't have to involve a woman that a woman is not supposed to be part of us you see it doesn't make sense so it's very important that you include women in politics and in leadership Tinha go or to two ehe. And can Bob and I be an obo dying in a cabinet that side dying. That's a drum of water no more community. Now, Obo and I ain't on IG, Madame Taron Woke, Nimore any right. And we hope Nani Rugana Bazi because Nahada a woman wine can down our counter, Nizunolo. Now, if I find a cub now on Yahoo, to or Nordi on our bed, dear. So no more can they hear it everything. But it seems I'm bar. I am not near that in or Bruzia and Obuno way for Nanaki na the family. Magaji don't walk, Nigaki to Taha, did you walk in a ekepe? Uru dea, Madame Gago for the Uru de Niabona. Now make boom wine. Wine, dear water. Hagaji, I gave quick a wine, pot off, for Mania Gan or the neighbor and a quiet year, where are ye, Ruria? Nambo, my now dear, I don't say to an on your bona, my right here. My yours are quite on one you could stay, but on a bona one you walk in a wine and walk, dinner when you walk. I put on your jelly bena in my 
baya basa yukwe ba chene ya ke mba e bata isi na ihe nda ado ma iku hanu muweke na anorai otutu ihe ko mu nwanyi megoro ara intu nyego kwarburu ibu okachasi onye ogaya na emegu nwere ihe na bio na eti nwunye ye otali emechi ubura akwa ya labe na ya abia report na neighborhood from neighborhood ibura bia na emu the cabinet of now our cabinet meeting everything na end I show na the way the man, Nichi had to matudo. I go on only in came very last. I married two months ago. I settled the matter. When you are a yakar and I come now, I have by you a bamish put on a pom na phone, no better than kind. So, and since I settled the matter, I have been do. And even the men are now supporting them. Before, they, maybe they don't know that this thing is affecting women. But because women are now involved, you see that that marginalization has stopped. Because you know, naturally, the African ancestral method made things to be like everybody's in that cage. But civilization is coming up now. We are starting to realize the importance and the essence of women in the society. And especially now that they have been included in the cabinet, we are beginning to see changes. Very trusted changes. Changes that make life meaningful for the community and for the entire society. Yes, so we are really very, very happy about women inclusion in every system, especially in the cabinet. Uh, the moment because now, Magana, since I'm one year, but I don't know. Magana, I'm one year, but I'm one year, be teacher, be a whip the hammer. Since I'm a better, I'm a good hammer. And I'm not going to be a mere cash. Oh, Fuka, I bought the car, say, go. Campbell and Bono, when you eat more on a Mecotara agenda, Yao Ebe Nabia Nubi, Mecotara, Mokena wine, a boar Haman on here. Macamai, my beer. Anyway, our division of labor, we committee members, or we know Hama who heads a welfare committee. Heads, na education committee. But the education committee, I hate you, may I head, can have for that our girls are not dropouts. But I have my ginger, and they are more on down, can have my rude in our people. Then I just say, I the developmental aspects. Honey, we've tart tomato. How we've tart tomato and deca. Now, how cho? Nandiabo. We don't wait to our room, we don't have a hatch on cable or in news, may chiao, and a hatch on cable or in news, may pao. I may chiao as their own rules. I will take you go may endorse, you go announce quite and double. You know, women are very powerful, they have powers that we don't recognize. Whenever they are involved in any activity, say for instance, the church. If women are not involved in the church today, most of the churches would have collapsed. Anything they are involved, they are very powerful, they make it united, they make it progressive. So since their involvement in the cabinet, things have been going smoothly. We don't have problem communicating the communities because before you come there, they have already spread the news and they are always obeyed by their people. So we have got a lot of progress since they were involved in our cabinet. A lot of things that have changed. So there's a lot of importance to include a w women in whatever we are doing so we can achieve success in all. Criteria I have to have. Criteria constitution of age of Tigre. One, when you are young, half time. You are a young woman. Uronye Doranya, Onye Doranya, Onye Marie Hobodo Nako. I want to know an African after. Uronye when Louisi Louis Ang so can answer. Uruzi Onye Mobodan or Fuma Fuma. Our Akui head was a robot. Miguania, Miguano, Yaya, Yakoya, Kawatia, a total serede. Makana to pull her. Abanye as a member of the uh, cabinet. Na anyi nwa nenela ha akpola anyi. Bo each of every one of them ha webia. I will screen wo he. 
the successful one in the nafele na the screening go nda e foro tata e e no great tata so ayi obro ayi de chela anya we hu na o mu wa anya kwesiri na to puta ezibata mata no obodo ofodo no chitere ndu ndu uka som no chitere ndu obodo som no chitere ndu nde 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 union ofodo no chitere ndu diaspora so various organizations bonda ni na inwe tel we tinya na cabinet so ka solu igwe na nda cabinet we na atunya anya we na atunya kwa lo nke he as a woman as a woman yes because no hanwa be here i believe no mu anya e bob no mu anya no lu do na de ba you know normally in every autonomy it is the igwe that will sit discuss with his male cabinet members and then begin to select and Igwe, this Igwe should also not be sectional in selecting women. Because we are talking about able representation. Like in Ikwamodo here, you may have up to 10 clans. If they need 10 women, they will get one from a clan, a capable person, an outspoken person, a person who can understand. Because you cannot go beyond what you can be able to do. <laughs> Today marks the inauguration of uh, female members of Igwe cabinet in Abo. You know, according to the United Nations, United Nations Charter on Discrimination Against Women, uh, Nigeria is part of the signatories to the Charter, and uh, the Charter wants equality of men and women in everything, political, economic, and so on. So, uh, in compliance to that charter, and as part of uh, the, the arms of government in the community in Abo, um, the traditional ruler of Abo, Shinemeze One of uh, Abo, uh, Chief uh, Ngudile Josephat Chukwode, decided to include women members of the cabinet in his cabinet and today they are inaugurating them officially as members of the cabinet with, with equal authority with the men for no ganiru nke gadura no obodo anya dike ewe puterem dika ha mu obu ezoku bu ndi aga mu e make sure na mna ekwe ezoku mbo obu na obi de mu mma na atiru mu na one of the cabinet so far, so good. We can say that the project has uh, yielded uh, a result. Uh, we, uh, uh, not minding the challenges we are facing, but we recorded a couple of women who have been uh, part of, uh, who have been enrolled to be part of Igwe cabinet and the community level. We also have uh, a women who are contested for councillorship position. I think that also was the first time a woman is running openly for the position of councillorship at the community level. So the project uh, has really impacted and as facilitator, uh, our content also were built, in build, uh, we are developed in line with building the capacity of these women and also operating a sustainable group so that even after the end of the project these women can also engage in self-education and uh, constantly you know uh, reflect on what we've taught them and uh, continue to empower themselves and other young women that will come and join them later in the future we have included more than 60 women in Igwe cabinet in different communities and they are doing very well and we keep doing more to make sure that other community emulate them. Any day we stop marginalization and start including women in politics in Nigeria as a whole, we will go far as a country because I come up with my idea, you come up with your idea, you will, we analyze it and see um how better it is you see now in the communities now where we included women in traditional leaders you see that women are now doing very well you see their importance now 
why we are sharing these success stories for you to see that it's possible since we can do this in Enugu, changing the narratives and the status quo they believe that uh, is unbreakable it can happen in Imo, it can happen in other states it can happen and we plan we try to see how we can make it as a policy that every traditional leader to include women in their cabinet because it's not a taboo it's not a sin for a woman to be there but to dialogue and to say this is what they can do and to achieve success because whenever you talk about a um, leadership policy it's supposed to be people coming together to rearrange and play a good strategy it has been a, a very wonderful journey it has been a back-to-back -back success stories that we are gaining in fact sometimes when i look at how far we have gone i feel so excited <laughs> Yeah, because not on the way be a mekwere, even in the local system, both councillorship and the other areas of interest na leadership, and you come away in that freedom constitutionally. Na ha mu iki ke mu ke mu, so I ne ke in the way be you ke ne shi you ke. So o mu way ya go in the obodo je je he, so I ne ke ne do obuna go tell you ha, I ne ke ne do obuna aka ha deni i select i pu no mu way gan eso. Because na fighting for another person's progress. We are going to progress. Tell you that um, Webby is doing very well, and the project of UBL is also making huge impact in Enugu. I must commend the executive director of Webby and the, all the workers there for their commitment and their dedication towards ensuring a, a society that is gender inclusive. We wouldn't have gone this far without Global Affairs Canada. They are the major sponsors of this WVO project and they make sure we lack nothing while doing this project and it has it has yielded a lot of a lot of results and also action aid wow i don't know where to start when it comes to action aid their support their encouragement to make sure that things are getting well with the way it should be is a, a we, we want to say thank you and also want to use this opportunity to thank all our team member david the communication and the monitoring and evaluation person cherechi our finance officer love it, the program officer and the other volunteers we want to use this opportunity to thank them because without them we wouldn't have gone this far so thank you everyone thank you global affairs canada thank you action aid nigeria and thank you to all our team members we love you all okay.